Hi, Crumblers, and welcome to our last episode of season one of Crumble Mumble, the podcast. It has been so fun having you guys tune in and listen to all of the behind the scenes content we've been able to give you about how Crumble does what it does every single day. Uh, we just closed our birthday giveaway, which is super exciting. We gave away five one year supply of Crumble cookies to five different people. Um, which is something we've never done before. And it was super exciting to see how jazzed everyone was and to see everyone's participation in that giveaway. We saw tons of tags and comments on Instagram and everyone here at HQ was so, so excited about it. So thank you for participating. Congratulations to our winners. And because it's our birthday month, which is what we did the giveaway for, this is also the last, this week and next are the last weeks that you can grab our custom birthday designed box. So be sure that you come into the store and, and grab one of those. Those are for our six pack cookies, which we have right here today, because of course, today's our weekly flavor review. Um, I've seen a few comments of people asking why I don't eat them on camera. And that's because this is a podcast and that would quickly become an ASMR episode of Crumble Cookies. And maybe we'll start another branch of that at some point. But for right now, we're just showing you the cookies, talking about them and giving you the inside scoop on all of the flavors for every single week. So this week we are starting out strong with caramel pumpkin. It is pumpkin spice season, everyone, and Crumble is here for it. This cookie is amazing. This might be my favorite of the week for this week. There's a lot of good cookies this week. Our aesthetic this week is honestly amazing. Like the box is very beautiful, right? There's a lot of colors going on. There's a lot of different flavors. Um, we've talked in previous episodes about Sawyer and Chelsea and how Sawyer has this whole process into deciding what cookies go into what box and how they look next to each other and taste next to each other. And he does an amazing job every week, but this week he killed it. It's an amazing lineup. So Caramel pumpkin, this is your classic pumpkin spice cookie. It's got caramel in it, so it's got that nice pumpkin pumpkin spice moment, but then also it's got this really smooth caramel undertone to it. It's so good. And the nice thing about this cookie, this is a lot of people's favorite cookie because it's so light and airy and soft. Uh, where a lot of our cookies can be very decadent and very gourmet, which we love, right? There, There's a lot going on. This one, I mean, I could eat a whole one of these cookies by myself in one sitting because it's just so light, airy, and nice. It's a great, great cookie. Next up, we have raspberry butter cake. This is a brand new cookie. It is so pretty. So we've got the Kentucky butter cake base, which that was also a new cookie this year. And people freaked out over it. It's our CEO's favorite cookie is Kentucky butter cake. And so we've taken Kentucky butter cake and we added a raspberry topping and whipped cream to the top. So not only is it a stunningly beautiful cookie, it's also amazingly delicious. You've got the melt in your mouth Kentucky butter cake base, and now you've got that fruit and that cream on the top and it all just ties together just so, so nicely. Um, as, as we've seen on socials, this has been a lot of people's favorite cookie this week. My personal favorite was the caramel pumpkin, but this has been a lot of people's favorite. So make sure you go and try it. It's brand new. So we don't know when it's gonna come back. It depends on how well it does and supply chain and all that jazz. So while it's here, tomorrow's the last day you can grab this lineup. Be sure to go grab it. Next up, we have lemon glaze, right? So we've got two fruity options for you guys this week. Lemon glaze is a really unique cookie because there's an actual lemon on top and you can actually squeeze the lemon and the lemon juice enhances the cookie flavor. And so if you like your cookies a little more tart, you like a little bit more lemon in there, just take that lemon off the top and squeeze some juice on it and you'll be set. If you don't like it as tart, then you can just, you know, give the lemon to a friend or do whatever you want with it. The cookie by itself is still just as good. That's our lemon glaze. And then we've got our peanut butter cream featuring Nutter Butter. This is also a brand new cookie. So this one is in partnership with Nutter Butter, which has been so exciting. That's what I do as part of my job is all of the partnerships for co-branded cookies. So I have been able to work with the Nutter Butter team on this. It went to their headquarters. They tasted it, gave us feedback, gave us approval. And some of you might've seen that we've been playing a little bit with each other on socials, which has been really exciting. And so seeing that brand come and support Crumble in what we're doing in our iteration of their product in a cookie has been so exciting and so rewarding. And this is really a good cookie if you're a peanut butter lover. We try to give the peanut butter lovers something every week. And this is a brand new cookie with a peanut butter base. It's delicious. It's amazing. Again, another new cookie. So be sure to get it while we have it because, you know, after Saturday, after tomorrow, we don't know when it's going to come back. So be sure to come check it out. 
And then, of course, we have our classic pink sugar. How could we not? It's on the menu every week now. It's back with its new recipe. And now, because of last week, hopefully most of us know that the pink on the pink sugar and the pink of crumble pink came from a pink Cadillac that Sawyer Hemsley used to see when he was growing up, which is just a really cool story. And even though we don't have the topper on it this week, now hopefully we can all remember that Cadillac every time we buy into a pink sugar cookie. It's a classic for a reason. It's here on the menu again, along with our other classic, which is on the menu every week, our milk chocolate chip cookie. I had a friend this week tell me that the way he judges the success of a cookie company is if they can do the chocolate chip right. He said, I don't wanna see any other of the cookie flavors that they do unless the chocolate chip is solid because if they can't get a chocolate chip cookie right, I don't trust any of their cookie flavors. And I agree with that. And our chocolate chip cookie is by far every single week the best cookie on the menu. It's our best seller for a reason. It's amazing, it's phenomenal, it's won awards. It is our star child of the cookie lineup every single week. So if you're craving a classic or you've never tried it, also be sure to get that tomorrow. Again, the six pack is our birthday box. So really come get all of the flavors, come try them out, do your reviews. We love seeing them. Give us your opinions, comment, DM, however you wish. We wanna hear from you guys and what you think about it. So as was said, this is the last episode of season one. So we had a month of episodes. It's been great. And I've been able to get a lot of feedback from you guys about what you want to see and who you want to see and your thoughts on how we've done the episodes and what they've looked like. And so we're going to take a month break. We're going to prep. We're going to get some some new guests. We're going to get some new format, new structure. We're going to bring in some different elements to the podcast that we think you guys are really going to love. And we're going to come back strong for season two in November. So starting November 1st, we'll come back strong. And honestly, it might not even be a season. I think from from November 1st, we're going to keep the podcast going until the indefinite future. So we'll just keep it going. There won't be any more breaks. So hang tight for the next four weeks. Uh, we'll be prepping on our end and then we'll come back with more content and, and more of everything you guys want to see. We're really going to dive into the business of Crumble. We're possibly going to have other business leaders on the podcast, possibly some fans on the podcast. Okay. Which means they'll be coming out to HQ to be featured. So let us know. We'll be making a few posts on Instagram. Let us know who you want to see, what you want to see. I, I get all of those responses and I take all of them into account as we are continually strategizing and, and putting this podcast together for you guys we want this to be somewhere where if you love our cookies and you want to know more about them we give you a channel to to know more about them we want you guys to tune in and really feel like you're part of the crumble family because you guys are because we love you guys we love your opinions we have everything you have to say we love seeing you come into the stores every single week getting these cookies telling us what you think we love it all so that'll be november 1st we've got exciting things coming your way and be sure to let us know in the comments of this video on youtube uh what cookie is your favorite? And if you're listening on Spotify or Apple, feel free to jump over to our YouTube channel and let us know. Again, this is a strong week. And so we are anxious to see what cookie pulls out ahead in terms of which cookie people like the best. There's so many good ones this week. It's been a really, really strong flavor week and you guys have absolutely loved it. So thank you for tuning into the podcast. This was a great season. I have loved being here with you guys and I'm so excited to see you again on November 1st. We'll see you then. Bye.